And now it is time for some remarks from our principal, as well as the presentation of awards and scholarships. It is my pleasure to introduce principal of Hopkins Academy, Mr. Brian Beck. Tonight, I'm very proud to be the principal at Hopkins Academy. As you know, the class of 2016 will be the 352nd class to graduate from this storied school. Hopkins Academy has a long tradition of academic, athletic, artistic, musical, and leadership excellence in both its students, its faculty, and in the community. <clears throat> Among the graduates, there's an air of relief when the exams are done, the pressure of academics and performance seems to have subsided, final paper, papers and projects are submitted, the AP exams are over, and the rehearsals are, gym, are done and the gym is finally decorated, and this year in record time. In your families, there's a sense of pride in your achievement of this goal, <clears throat> and of course a sense of relief for you as well. For many, there are reshuffled finances, as your college bills will be coming soon. <clears throat> but there is the potential that the kids need to remember for payback. Graduates, for example, should not be surprised when they return home after the first semester to find that their room has been turned into an office, a hot tub, or a gym for their parents, and that they're sleeping on the couch. But in all seriousness, we must take great pride in the achievement of your sons and daughters here at Hopkins Academy. We leave tonight knowing that they are exceptionally well prepared to tackle life after high school. As for you graduates, this can be a tough time for your parents. As excited as they might be to make use of the coming empty room you will leave, they're missing you already. Thank them often tonight and in the weeks to come. Call them often when you leave and tell them you love them and you miss them. Remember, they have done so much for you and they will always be your parents, and they will always love you dearly. The list of scholarships and awards that I have the privilege to announce tonight is a testimony to the outstanding efforts of the senior class and the support shown for the students of Hopkins Academy by the local community. In the days to come, these young men and women will share their personal gratitude for the support and the awards extended to them by the Hopkins Academy Board of Trustees, the Hadley Mothers Club, the Hadley Parent Teachers Organization, Helping Hearts for Hadley Schools, and the Hopkins Academy Athletic and Music Booster Clubs. This year, I would also like to make a special note of gratitude to Debbie Cook at the Flavors of Cook Farm for the donation of ice cream um, to all of, the student, all of the seniors from both Hopkins and Smith Academy. Ms. Cook, thank you very much. It is for the, from the endless efforts of those who support these organizations and participate in these organizations that we are able to provide an incredible educational experience for our students and to send so many of them forward with badly needed financing for their college and post high school pursuits. I would also, much like Thomas, like to thank and acknowledge a number of people who have worked behind the scenes to coordinate the presentation of awards and preparations for this graduation ceremony. First, someone who didn't know that he was working behind the scenes until approximately 5.09 this evening, I would like to thank Mr. Thomas Pitta for his emergency photography. <clears throat> Next, class advisors, Senior Ruthann Fitzgibbons and Sir Nicholas Simmons. as well as Guidance Director Angie Cullinan. Thank you very much to Ms. Fogarty for all the time and effort that she spent in coordinating so many different things and the time that she spent working as such a strong teammate to get Ms. Lord off the floor so that she was able to do what she needed to do to get all of the programming and everything ready for graduation. Thank you, Ms. Fogarty. I would also like to give a special thank you to the dedicated uh, faculty and staff here at Hopkins Academy who for the last week have treated me like I'm not even here. There's not a single person stopped me in the hallway as we've rushed around almost exclusively working with your kids. I would like to thank, thank this, uh, Superintendent Annie McKenzie for the pizza 
the root beer in the 15 minutes of peace that I had with you today. I would like to thank D. Rex, who is Dr. McKenzie's executive secretary, <clears throat> and the members of the Board of Trustees for their endless assistance in coordinating scholarships and awards, and for the time and effort in helping us coordinate for the night. I would also like to thank Stanley Nagella and Mary Tanner for the time and effort that they put into making sure that the building is clean and working. I am also thankful for the assistance, for the knowledge, for the sense of humor, the snark, the sarcasm, the fun, and keeping me lighthearted over the course of the last two weeks. Diane Chapman, I cannot thank you enough for everything that you have done. <clears throat> But my deepest appreciation must be expressed to the two following people, each of whom does their work with great optimism, a smile, and a laugh, even when under enormous pressure. None of this week's activities happen at all without the monumental physical effort of Facilities Director Jeffrey Misch. And none of class night, senior week, or graduation come together at all if it weren't for the efforts of Ms. Caitlin Lord. And for anyone who has met these two people, you know that their monumental efforts always come with a smile and cheerfulness that brighten all of our days. We thank you both, not only for the hard work and effort that you both put into this night, but for the fact that every time we walk away from you, we're a little bit happier than we were when we walked up toward you. <clears throat> thank you also to TV5 and Mr. Truswell, Mr. Serio for sending both the awards program and graduation um, live into Hadley. For this year's graduating class has continued, if not exceeded, the tradition of excellence associated with Hadley schools in general and Hopkins Academy in particular. As parents, you should be very proud of this group of students as a whole. One really bright note that we often forget about because it happens three years ago but when we look back on the information this is a graduating class that on their MCAS scores on math had the highest student growth percentile in the entire state of Massachusetts they were in the top seven percent of all high schools in science and were tied for first with 30 other schools for the top aggregate scores on their English language arts MCAS as well. <clears throat> the class of 2016 is filled with exceptional artists, has outstanding and talented musicians whom we've all seen perform with the Hopkins Chorus, Band, Jazz Band, and Pep Band. The class of 2016 has outstanding athletes who have contributed to both boys and girls programs that have put many league and district banners on the walls of this gymnasium just over the last four years. And we remain hopeful that the baseball team who begins their playoff run on Monday will add yet another banner to our walls. They have the intellect and ability to make the world a better place, as Tommy, uh, Thomas had acknowledged. I would simply add to, like to add one piece of advice that is also consistent with what Thomas said. When you leave here, there will be hundreds of thousands of other graduates who have very similar abilities, although they may not have come from a better high school with a more supportive community. The one thing that will separate you from the other brilliant, dynamic, engaging people is in fact your work ethic, how hard you're willing to go at it, how much you're willing to put up with. Your ability to handle and overcome failure will be the most important part of what you bring to the table because you are all smart. You are all talented but there are many out there with whom you compete who are also very smart and talented, work very hard. And now we've reached the time when we recognize their accomplishments with the following awards. With your programs tonight, you've all been given a list of the scholarships and awards that will be presented to each of the students. As each award is announced, you will be able to read the description of the scholarship or the award that has been provided. Please do not jump in the aisles to, or approach the stage for pictures. The photographer will ensure a copy of the diploma and the awards and award pictures will be made available to each graduate. So please refrain from rushing the stage to take a picture. 
uh, during the award, no mosh pit, no climbing over each other. I'd like to ask Ms. Cullinan to assist me in the presentation of awards. And we will begin with our first award, is the James P. Reed Athletic Medal. This year is awarded to Brett Morrison. The James Robert Ryan Prize is presented to two students, Benjamin Koch and Aurora Grant Wingate. The Emerson Prize, given to the top student academically in the class, goes to Thomas Kowal Safran. The Mary McGrath O'Brien Debating Prize this year is awarded to Dakota Gill. The Bridget A. Ryan Prizes this year go to Sarim Ahmed and Elissa Denault. The Old Hadley Lions Club Agricultural Scholarship this year goes to Emily Keeler. The Henry E. Ryan and Arthur Ryan Award goes to Jillian Coelho. The Hope Grange Youth Mathematics Prize this year goes to Jennifer Moss. The American Legion Scholarship is awarded to Alyssa Kupras. The Constance Higgins Alumni Prize is awarded to Jennifer Moss. The Florence M. Reed English Prize goes to Aurora Grant Wingate. The Fannie G. Allen Award is given to Jennifer Moss. And I'm making Jenny stay here not to play a cruel joke on her, but because she has also been selected by the faculty to receive the faculty award. The Mary E. Kennedy Award goes to Benjamin Koch. The Hadley Young Men's Club Stanley Bannis Memorial Educational Aid Award goes to Kirsten Cook and Thomas Kowal Safran.
The Dwight History Prize is awarded to Emily Young. The Hadley Education Association Scholarship is awarded to Caroline Cristoforo. The John Philip Sousa Band Award goes to Jennifer Moss. The Louis Armstrong Award goes to Michael Sapansky. The Bud Neeland Award goes to Dakota Gill. The Paul W. Brown Senior Baseball Award goes to Mohammed Zachary Yaman. The Major Henry, Henry B. Zawacki Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brett Morrison. The George C. Hibbard Alumni Scholarship is awarded to Emily Keeler. The Hadley Mothers Club prizes are awarded to Jillian Coelho and Jennifer Moss. The Burton P. Shores Memorial Prize this year goes to Muhammad Zachary Yaman. The Alan M. <clears throat> excuse me, Alan M. Daniels Memorial Award is awarded to Bridget Lashway. The Daniel M. Zagranik Memorial Math Prize goes to Thomas Cole Saffron. The Joseph and Mary Konetsny Prize is awarded to Abigail Gardner. The Marion Purdy Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emily Young. The Coaches Award this year goes to Caroline Cristoforo. The National School Choral Award goes to Aurora Grant Wingate.
The award given from Hadley people interested in the arts is awarded to Dakota Gill. The Nellie A. and John W. Sikowski Memorial Award this year goes to Jillian Coelho. The Barbara G. and John S. Byron Scholarship Fund this year goes to Brendan Bushy. The Nancy E. Malinowski Urgil Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Denechales Ortega. <laughs> the Paul A. Klamowski Soccer Award this year goes to Charles Sanderson. The John Misch Senior Memorial Scholarship goes to Brandon Bushy. The May and Oscar Johnson Scholarship goes to Matthew Grand. The Richard A. Graves Memorial Scholarship goes to Prit Paul Naris. The Leon G. Jasinski Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Gregory Pipchinski. The Frank E. Koloski Memorial Scholarship goes to Jennifer Moss.